God bless Mummy. God bless Daddy. God bless Nu. Amen. Forgotten someone? Who? Keep thinking. Me. I forgot to bless me. God bless me. A toast to England's funniest writer, ready to put the smile back on our faces. What do we fight that war for? Well, it is over. What am I doing about it? You're doing what you're good at, writing plays. I had enough of making people laugh. I want to make them see. I need to get out of London, somewhere quiet and trying to think for once. You're going to live here. This is your new home. <laughs> Mummy says you're writing a book to stop people going to war. Mm. I think your book is a jolly good idea. You're the only one that does. I'd really like if you wrote a book for me. I'd definitely read it. Shall we go for a walk? Aren't you working? It doesn't seem likely. Could you think of a good name for a donkey? Eeyore. They'll be gone in a minute. Bees are good, aren't they? They just want to make honey. Yes, I... Uh, I completely forgot about bees. Life is full of frightful things. The great thing is to find something to be happy about. I think I've got something for us. Ernest and I are putting your bear in a book. We're putting you in it too. What will you call me in the book? Your real name, Christopher Robin. Let's be hunters in the snow. Come on, don't get frostbite. The creatures in the story are toys. They're toys, but the woods are real. Winnie the Pooh. It's rather inexplicable. Yes. Evening news with Paul Christopher on the front page. Why does everyone like Winnie the Pooh so much? After the war, there was so much sadness. Then Winnie the Pooh came along. Shall we go to the woods? I've got heaps of writing to do, I'm afraid. He has to be allowed to grow up. He has to know he's important. Radio interview, newspaper interview. He can't do all this. He's rather good at it. He's a little boy. Come on, then. Where to? Home, I should think.